we would like to express our sadness uh, when we look at the way the house is being conducted in this uh, uh, assembly budget session. Uh, over and above that, uh, the allocation of time is too less. This is the shortest budget assembly session that we have ever experienced in the state of Nicaragua. With seven days only, where a private member's business is allotted only in two days, and the way that we are restricted in the timing to participate in the house also is too less. Ten minutes in the debate on governor's address, and we are grown up enough, and uh, we are we have the experience also in this house. This is the first time. This is the first time that the speaker of the house is not seeking, you know, suggestion from the opposition side to uh, either to extend or to stick to the timing according to the calendar. So, especially as far as we understand, the government fully, you know, is fully aware that there is a very important motion submitted by the opposition member. In fact, the text that I have submitted, you know, for the motion is the urgent need to discuss, you know, the urgent need to discuss and to request the government to put on board the implementation of roster system in the state retrospectively. This is the original text that I have submitted. The urgent need to put us on board, you know, the implementation of a roster system in the state retrospective. So this government, the MDA government, has already instructed their MLAs to participate in a motion which is confined to one constituency only. This is a deliberate attempt on the part of the government. They want to run away from the responsibility. But we will not allow. If we are not allowed to participate in this August House, we are going to hit the street. In fact, which we don't want to go to the street as legislator. But since we are not allowed, this is a serious issue. It has affected this part of the region. So we want to discuss as responsible members of the House. How do we go about this serious issue? So this is what we want. This is anti-people, undemocratic, the first time ever in the Megali Legislative Assembly. And it is an attempt on the part of the government to run away from response.